Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So today we're talking about one of my favorite AI writers, SEO Writing, and they've just rolled out a new update introducing DeepSeek, not one but two models, which is the R1 and the 3. I have to be quite honest with you, I had to consult with perplexity <laughs> to give you a short summary of each. And it turns out that DeepSeek R1 excels in coding, logical challenges and mathematics. So it is better for pure research and calculation. And DeepSeq V3 is superior as far as creative writing, copywriting, and general content creation, as well as better at factual knowledge, trivia, and general inquiries. Not only that, but these two models are now tied into the concept of auto SEO. So basically, when you're using these models here, SEO writing will look at the competition and it will mimic the keyword frequency, the heading structure, the overall purpose of the article, be it informational, review, roundup, and so on and so forth. So once you've generated your article, you now have access to this report. As you can see, there is input data, the SERPs, and the results of the analysis, as well as a short summary once again in the end. So we'll be testing two articles written by V3 and R1, and we will also be comparing this to the optimized mode from Agility Writer, another AI writer that I love. This optimized mode does just that. It basically acts as a neuron writer alternative where you don't have to optimize anything as far as LSI keywords and entities. So I've written two articles. This one is written with R1. As you can see, you do have access to the SEO report. So main keywords does the Chile's writer pass in detection, language English, target country United States. It extracted the top 10 SERPs data and it actually shows you uh, which data it was fetching and i'm quite surprised to see youtube and linkedin this is one of my articles here and i'm pretty sure one of these youtube videos is mine as well but that's okay it analyzed the keyword frequency it determined this to be a how-to guide with an informational search intent i'm not sure about the 3000 words i know that my article which is Agility Writer Review, which uh, this SERP analysis is referring to, is over 2,500 words. But yeah, let's see. So all I have to do is copy, then go to Neuro Writer. Title and description have been pre-populated for those of you playing at home. Let's just paste this in. And the SEO score is 69. So we are way better than our competitor. Let's quickly switch to Agility Writer. And again, this is the optimized mode. It's very similar, so it does look at specific SERP results to mimic what they're doing. And this is using the optimized mode once again. Okay, so we can copy the article. Let's clear this. Once again, we're getting the residual SEO based on the title and the description. Let's paste this in. And this is actually 69 SEO score as well. The article is much shorter, so it's roughly twice as short but the SEO optimization score is exactly the same. Let's now paste the article from SEO writing written with V3, which is supposedly a better model for creative writing. And this is actually 72. So I did not insert any NLP keywords. Everything was done by SEO writing itself. It's a shorter article than the R1 gave us, which is good. Still on a longer side, but perfectly SEO optimized. I know uh, you guys will be asking me about this, so let's check the human score. And I'm not sure what the result is going to be, but this mode is probably not going to show an amazing... Yeah. So first off, uh, there is a limitation on zero GBD's part. Secondly, uh, this mode is mimicking what's in the SERPs. So the only way you could actually change the writing style. So as you can see, the text readability, as well as the content cleansing or cleaning, is grayed out when you choose this mode here, as well as the article type and article size. But you can still use your own brand voice, which is good, which should, in theory at least, but I hope in practice as well, lower the AS score. However, one of the biggest advantages, for me at least, of this auto SEO thingy is the bulk mode.
So if you go to the bulk mode, you can answer as many keywords as you want, but I think the limit is 50. But we can insert a lot of keywords here. But if you choose this mode here once again, and as you can see, the keywords and outlines uh, are getting grayed out as well. But the biggest advantage is that you are getting auto optimized articles in bulk, which is not possible in uh, many of the other tools. So if you go to Agility Writer, for example, and go to Bulk Advanced Mode, you see that there is an option for V3. And also there is no Bulk Optimized Mode, at least not yet. It would have been great, but we don't get a Bulk Optimized Mode. What you can do instead to be 100% objective, you can connect your Agility Writer to a Neural Writer. And this will auto-optimize in bulk. But yeah, again, you have to have neural writer and you have to make that connection. EA writers aside, I have recently launched my school community. I have also listened to your feedback and I slashed the price in half. So it's extremely affordable. We've just had our inaugural uh, group coaching session, which went amazing. You get your helpful constant mastery course uh, that is constantly being updated. As part of the course, I am creating new workflows. So this is the workflow that allowed me to gain back a lot of traffic. Hopefully I'll record a video on that as well. This is a unique approach. You are getting bi-weekly calls over Zoom, as I said. You're getting access to Tax Humanization Academy newsletter mastery, niche research, and custom tools. And custom tools are amazing. So I've just added a keyword research tool. So just look at this, uh, listen to this suite of tools. Perplexity AI Formatter, Creator Business Brain, Reddit Insight Generator, Reddit Insights Analyzer, Uncensored 10K Story Generator, Lead Magnet Generator, and all the keyword research tool. And you get a lot of value. So there you have it, guys. SEO writing is cheaper with my discount code, which is 25% off. And also go check out my school community. It's as affordable as it's ever going to be. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you soon. Cheers.